Hello everyone, this is Professor J. Kim. Uh, in Dreamweaver, there are a lot of ready-to-use template files. Have you ever used one of them? Have you figured how to customize it? This is the series of videos and then I'm going to show you how to customize each template files for your use. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel, hit the like button, and set the alarm for my latest video. Then let's get started. Okay, so uh, let's create yet a new Dreamweaver file. So once you open Dreamweaver, I'm going to create a new file uh, as a starter templates. And let's try to use the end of one of the simplest one. Uh, sample folder, the basic layout, and then uh, uh, sample page, choose the other single page. This is the simplest one. So I'll create it. Okay, so before we start this, we we'll need to um, make the other, define the other site, uh, the root folder. So go to site. I'm going to create a new site. Uh, I'm going to make a, uh, the Grand Canyon the web page. So uh, let me name the other site as a Grand Canyon. And my root folder is going to be so my root folder, I made the other Grand Canyon folder, uh, which is empty now. So I'm going to choose it as my root and save it. Okay. And then you will have to see this that in your files tab. Uh, you have to see that your site name, Grand Canyon, and your root folder. So before we do that, uh, first I'm going to save it as in my root as index index.html index.html if this happens uh, just close this and then just double click your index.html again okay so this is what we have let me check my folder see under my Grand Canyon root folder I have index.html with a CSS and images folder already so let me double click it so this is what we have so uh, this is kind of basic settings. So one kind of single uh, parallax effect uh, that's crawling the page. And everything's just placeholder images and placeholder color. Okay. And then also, this is not a bootstrap, but it's kind of responsive. See? So as you reduce the, your uh, browser size, window size, uh, it responses. Okay. So now I'm going to where I'm going to, I'm going to show you how to customize it. So before we do that, uh, please download the images. Uh, I made a link uh, in my description, and there are the multiple images: hero logo, PNG things. So um, please the, um, uh, make a copy of those files. Copy, and in your root folder, open your images folder and paste it paste five items okay then now I'm back to my Dreamweaver so first uh, I want to uh, customize the um, um, the basic settings so I want to change the background color I want to change the um, uh, the header color I want to replace the hero light here as a hero image and then I also want to change the um, this uh, parallax images as well Okay, so first, in order to change the, uh, your background color, try this. Once you open the, uh, your index.html, there are the two more linked files. So first one, single page template, open the file. And then, as you can see, there is a body tag, uh, the body code. And you see the background color. I'm going to delete it and pond sign i'm gonna choose uh dark gray like that okay hit the return and don't forget to enter semicolon okay so i changed my background and also let me go back to the source code again i want to change via this header background color so it's a, from light blue, I want to change it to a black. Okay, 
So that is in your DOM panel under body tag container contains everything you see the header select the header so that's the header light home about and contact button here header and then now uh, we're going to create a new style uh, the cascading style sheet uh, that is easier so open the CSS designer panel okay and then I'm going to add a new source by clicking on this plus button create a new CSS file let me just name it as a style.css okay see that style.css is added and also check your files style.css this is added and the style.css this is added here too okay so it's everywhere now so back to CSS designer select your header in your DOM panel and then you will see the selectors panel we're going to add a new selector by clicking this plus button you see that container header hit the return and then select the container header and in your properties of this container header uh, I'm going to change the background color so click on the background background color choose just the black hit the return see it is added okay now let me reduce the size see that still this the other draw uh, is a kind of mobile version this drop down menu has that size and uh, the, the light blue again so that is under header is nav navigation so select your yeah, navigation we're going to add this as a new selector still on the style.css here as a new selector container header nav hit the return and then container header nav is selected in your properties select background color it's gonna be black see it turns to black so I'm back to this okay now let's change the uh, this hero light or the hero kind of light gray color as a hero image so that is a section see section let me make it simpler header we finish the header now we're gonna change the section hero here same thing in your CSS designer panel still says uh, style.css and then we're going to add the new selectors by clicking this container hero and return and then uh, i'm going to change the, my background of this hero uh, section using the image so i uh, once you click on the background url enter file path click here and then under images folder you're going to see the hero.jpg from the, the uh, files you downloaded open so it is changed it it's pretty easy isn't it okay now i want to change uh my text color as well so select it and anywhere there's there are three columns now so choose one of them and then uh, please open this properties panel if you do not see this panel it is under Windows menu and properties okay then I'm gonna change my text color from here from light gray to just a black then it changes everything see and also I want to change the background color of this page or uh, this section so that is here and then in my DOM panel that's the about section see that light blue outline so I'm selecting the whole section now then same thing select the section in your selectors panel and the other CSS designer panel we're gonna add a new selector container about 
okay the return and let me change the background color this time i'm going to apply the gradient click there my gradient top color is going to be uh, i want to use really light yellow something like that and my second color just white hit the return see okay now next section is a gallery so let me scroll down next section is a gallery section this one i'll do the same thing uh, select the gallery and then in your css designer panel add as a new selectors container gallery and then this time i'm going to use the um, background color another gradient from white to kind of orange see it looks better and then also at the same time i want to change this text color as uh, these numbers so it's kind of a little kind of a faded so select the, uh, that number and then let me change the text color to black and my title this light blue color also i want to change it to um, red and the one line description things i want to change it to um, dark dark blue okay so um it's much easier to read it okay and the next i want to change it as a parallax image select the section see that you see the section banner so that is this section same way in your css designer panel add as a new selectors you see the container banner hit the return I'm going to change the background as an image. You are enter file path. Click on the browse button. And then this time, choose the night.jpg. Open. See? It is open. All right. So we're getting in there. Oh, and bottom two. So um, these two, select the first image. I want to replace it. So click on this the uh, drop down menu. I'm gonna choose image resource, browse for the file, and small image one. That JPEG. Open. My second one. Click there. Source file is number two. Okay, so we're getting in there. Okay, and also uh, I want to add some kind of a text here. I mean, like a subtitle. So what I'm going to do is let me select this section, which is section about this. This is the whole thing. Okay, section about. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert. Choose the insert tab and please make sure you're choosing the HTML option. I'm going to add new heading, heading number two. It will ask you where. So I want to have my heading number two inside this section. So it's going to be nested. Choose that. See? And let me just retype it. Uh, I want to type um, about grand. Canyon. There you go. Okay. And also in my hero image, I want to change the text. So um, let me highlight the whole thing. Uh, I'm going to type uh, Grand Canyon. And the next line, I'm going to type earth mighty crack oops 
Okay, with a kind of a really simple slogan or motto. Oh, I forgot to uh, insert the logo here. So instead of this light uh, in here, um, let me delete this H4 tag. Delete it. And then, instead of that, let me insert the image, which is logo.png. Open. See? It's there. Okay, so I think that's it. Um, before you save it, make sure, uh, as you know, uh, we changed the something from the uh, single uh, page template.css, and also we made a lot of changes in style.css. So you will have to save everything. So go to File, Save It, and the single page template.css, Save It, and your source code, index.html, and save it. And let's see. So this is the original. And then once I uh, um, they refresh this page, see, everything's changed. Parallax image is working. Okay. Okay. So uh, the first one was um, we started from the just the template file, and then um, we made some changes just like this. Okay. So I hope that you enjoyed this video, and you can use it for your future project. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.